Welcome to this edition of Talk with Taz Live. May has come in. Oh, happy May to everyone. Today is the first day of May. For, for some, May Day or May 1st is a holiday rich in cultural and history folklore. To get a better understanding, I looked up the definition for the word May and found variations of the meaning such as to seek opportunity or permission, the expression of possibilities, and a wish or a hope. As an elementary student, I can remember uh, fun memories of going out and wrapping the maypole. Now, some folks will know what I'm talking about, but we had a lot of fun dancing around the maypole. And I can see those different color streamers, and we would wrap it. Well, we didn't know at that time what the real significance of May Day or the May Day festivals or activities or just the May in general. But May is the signal that spring has truly arrived. We talk about April showers bring May flowers. So spring is here. The rich greenness that populated our playground area on the outskirts of it, as well as our yards and then the roads and highways as we would travel, we saw nothing but richness. But that burst of greenness indicated that this energy had shifted and that the spring energy brought vitality. This fresh nurturing uh, that takes place uh, warms our heart and symbolizes hope. Now, families and friends, if you think about it, you would see families and friends, it seemed like they would put away any misunderstandings that they had and return to unconditional love. And we knew that because you would see family gatherings from uh, events around Mother's Day to cookouts, graduations. The families came together and it seemed that everything was fresh and new again. As I thought about all of that, I was reminded of an article that a colleague shared with me. And in this article, it talked about adult coloring books and just the fact that coloring books at this time seem to be making a resurgence. Well, I have an adult coloring book. And, you know, when you color, you have to concentrate on what you're doing. And so coloring appears to reduce stress and anxiety. It's also, if you stop and think about it, you've got a picture. You're painting that picture. It's up to you to decide how it's going to look. It's a blank slate. You add the color as you choose. So it becomes an example of possibilities, an expression of hope. So as I thought about the masterpieces that I completed now, I'm no Picasso, by no means. Uh, I, uh, I thought about the significance of what they mean to me. As I color in my adult coloring book, I have to focus, which means that I cannot allow the things that are going on around me to enter my, ma uh, my brain, because when they enter my brain, my focus is lost. So therefore, it makes it hard for me to stay within the lines. Also, when you are coloring, if you look at the precision, and I'm not really very creative in this way, but there are artists out there who will understand what I'm trying to say. There is, there is something about the strokes of the crayon or the strokes of the pencil or the stroke of the brush. It means something. So not only is it the color selection, but it's the intensity of the color as it is displayed on the uh, item that you're coloring. That means something. I wonder, does it, is the uh, brush stroke, the crayon stroke, or the pencil stroke, is it an illustration of the emotions that you're wanting to emit in that piece of art? So again, when we are using the adult coloring books to create our possibility, we're saying more than we sometimes realize that we are conveying. But regardless of the color selection or the vigorousness of the strokes, we are conveying a hope about possibilities, things that we haven't seen, places perhaps we want to go. So regardless of how your artwork looks to others, be proud of your accomplishments. Let it be an inspiration to you. It reflects for me that my artwork reflects to me that I can endure. You know, this month I decided to adopt 
emerald green as my color to paint throughout all the circumstances that are going to occur, all the challenges that I'm going to face. I chose the color uh, emerald green because of the gemstone, which some say promotes calmness, balance, creativity, restores faith, and hope. And I thought no wonder Alice was trying to get to the Emerald City. Seasons come and seasons go, but we're entering a new season of change and hope is renewed as the Mayflowers bloom. Let's focus on the possibilities and select colors that fuel our energy as we move into the new season, this next season, and with a sense of hope. You already have what you need. Alice. You just have to activate it. This has been Talk with Taz Live. Until next time, take care of you. Bye now.